That's all we can do. That's all we can do right now. It's just clap. Because the New York Yankees, Ace, have just completed the sweep of the Houston Astros to begin their 2024 season. How's it feel? How are you feeling right now? How are you feeling? Feels so good. First and foremost, before we get into all the Yankee talk, happy Easter to everybody out there. Hopefully you guys have had yourselves a good one. And what a start to the season for our New York Yankees. A season, a series sweep at the hands of the Strohs. The headline should be Soto smacks Strohs because that man owns that team and the Yankees came out in full force and showed that this team isn't like last year's team. We're different. And wow, what a win. What'd you think, Max? How are you feeling right now? I'm on a, uh, I'm on cloud nine right now, man, because, Woo! uh, you know, we were talking about what if, what if this would happen right before the season began? What like our first, <laughs> no, like, you, I remember you told me you're like, what if we sweep the Astros and our first call in show is going to be like, you know, the Yankees coming off a sweep? And I was like, ah, oh, like, let's be honest here. I don't think that's going to happen. I was wrong, man. This, this team, this team is just on another level right now. I mean, the, the grit that this team has shown, the heart, the next man up mentality, because we saw what John Bertie today coming in. His first game as a New York Yankee, making offense a statement, defense. offense, and he saved the game for us in the bottom of the ninth. I mean, if you're not if you're not having fun right now, if you if you're not if you're a Yankees fan and you're not enjoying your your day, your whole weekend, what are you doing, man? Because mm. this is this is just unreal, bro. I, I'm ecstatic. Um, it's it's incredible, man. It Absolutely. really is. Absolutely. Think about it like this. The immediate payoffs by the latest acquisitions that we've yeah. seen. Soto, obviously, what he's done offensively, I'm sure you'll bring the numbers up, absolutely killed it. Defensively, yep. made three great plays defensively. Verdugo with the great play and Birdie with the great play. Yep. So guys that we are bringing in are paying off immediately, along with the bullpen that has been absolutely lights out, did not allow a single run against this Astros team. That and let me tell you this, Max. That's seven in a row we beat them in Houston, yep. dating so back maybe, to last year. Yep. So maybe the tide is turning. Maybe you know, what I'm saying that bad juju's out of here. You know, cer some certain players, you know, as always, continue to struggle against the Astros. Aaron Judge struggled. John Carlos Stanton had a moment, but you know he still struggled. But the newest acquisitions and the young kids came through against this team that tends to dominate us. Mm -hmm. And we turn the tables at least for now. Yeah, I mean, the first four O start since 03. First, you know, we started three and oh, and then that was the first time since 03. But since 03, man, this team has not been four and oh to start this game or this season. Mm -hmm. Like un incredible. We got Arizona on a quick turnaround. We got Arizona Monday night. Tuesday night and then Wednesday afternoon, but right now I, I you cannot sit here and say oh like you can't be excited for the for the Yankees, especially what we what we had to deal with Ace Cole going down early, Lemayu going down now with a bone fracture, uh, Canely hurt, Dominguez still on the sixty day, F Ross still on the sixty day, like. We all sat here in spring like oh here we go uh, like you know like CJ from San Andreas oh shit. Here we go again. And then this team flips it around and sweeps the Astros in Houston. I mean, we're we're all sitting on a high pedestal. I know there's going to be Astro fans in the chat. They're already in, in the chat right now talking, oh, do it in the playoffs. Do it in. No, no. Win a game. Oh, yeah. Win a game. They, oh, they were talking. They were mad yesterday. They were talking shit yesterday. So, hey, whatever. Yankees get a W. Astros on pace for 0 and 162 season. <laughs> yeah, right. It, we're not talking about the the past. We're talking about the present here. They all bring oh 27 two. I mean, come on now. We're sitting yeah. at 2024. Let's talk about the present. 
Exactly. And the present right now is we swept y'all ass in your home field. Mm -hmm. And we left your team getting booed out of Minime Park. That's what we just did. That's what we just did. Looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. Corvo. Oh, yeah. He's mad, mad. Oh, yeah. They, they, they get mad mad and it's the thing they shouldn't be because you know i don't know why they're so salty we're the ones that have been getting our asses kicked by them they're the ones that are just but they're but you know what they're sore losers it's as simple as that astro fans are sore losers you got smacked enjoy that you know that loss enjoy this series sweep you know what it feels good right now but the yankees got to keep it going the yankees have to keep it going because, like, uh, you know, this is a good win. This team just, like we talked about, you know, in a couple shows and all all offseason, Max, this team just feels different. The energy mm-hmm. is there. From Strowman, we saw him had a good outing. Yep. Um, What's it called? Uh, Soto's bringing that energy. Verdugo's bringing that energy. You know what I'm saying? And it's contagious. Look at Clark Smith, how he mm-hmm. reacted today. You know what I'm saying? He was actually frustrated that, you know what I'm saying, that he was, you know, he had a decent outing. But, but it's contagious. And winning is contagious as well. And this Yankee team has attitude, and it just feels different. So let's go Yankees. Yeah, that's why on my thumbnail, I posted my players of the of the series, which was Volpe, Volpe. for me. It was um, Oswaldo, of course, Soto, of course, Stroman. And the last and not, not least, Boone. Aaron Boone. I'm a, because I he... Agree. He managed this series perfectly in my eyes. Now people are giving him like a little, a little, uh, you know, why is he pulling Schmidt out? Well, you saw why the stats showed why after 70 pitches, Clark Schmidt goes downhill. Yep. And that's the thing about him. That's the thing about what I've been saying about Clark Schmidt is he just, he needs to go deeper into games. Same. Mm-hmm. He show he shows what he shows what he can do. But, you know, that third time around the batting order, that's when Clark Schmidt starts to struggle. Yep. And um, Absolutely. Uh, Boone knew it. The analytics knew it. I mean, that's why he pulled him out. Now, yep. Jonathan Loisigo was not as good as what we hoped for, but Boone didn't leave him in too long. You know, he made that that quick turnaround with Caleb Ferguson and Clay Holmes gave us a little rocky ninth inning, but he he, he made it through. I just think Boone did a great job of uh, managing this this series, especially with the lineups. Um, he gave Stan the day off. We still won. You know what I'm saying? Soto is just I, him. Him. Glaber Torres dealing with that thumb injury, still being able to play. I mean, this team, man. It, the bullpen looked great. Nick Birdie came in today, did phenomenal. Ian Hamilton still looking. Dude's been like unhittable in spring and then he transitions it to you know the Houston Astros they can't hit him like i want to give a shout out to the bullpen like they have been on fire to start this season and uh like Kaysilla and everyone else saying in the chat Verdugo finally caught one he finally did it man yep so but like to the point you were saying this since we're on the topic of the bullpen the bullpen really is the reason we won the series like because we had to come from behind three times. Yep. The bullpen kept us in it. And the bats showed up late for a comeback and, you know, getting the momentum. And in today's game, Clark Schmidt got the no decision, but the bullpen shut him down as well. They didn't give up a single run. So think about this. Your bullpen didn't give up a single run in four games against this Astros team, which is a World Series contender. Yeah. You shut them down. And on the flip side of that, their bullpen, we demolished their bullpen. Yeah. Like, we got to them good at bats. Just overall, I was just overall impressed by everything I saw from the New York Yankees. The at bats that we're taking, the high pitch counts on these pitchers. How many full count pitches, full count counts have the Yankees been in? A lot. Yeah. How many walks have we drawn? A lot. Like, this team just feels a complete, like, 180 from last year. And I'm also going to give a shout out to Clay Holmes. Even though he makes it difficult, he didn't he, give up the big shot, you know what I'm saying? And all the ball, you got to realize all the hits that Clay Holmes were hitting, they were on the ground. So those are just finding holes and getting through, but he's still doing his job, but the defense is bailing him out. So Clay Holmes did well as, as well. And just overall impressed by the Yankees. Like you said, your MVPs were, you know, I agree with them. The kids stepped up. Volpe stepped up. Cabrera, huge series for him. Soto as well. Um, 
just overall, you know what I'm saying, just a good series win for the New York Yankees. Yeah. I mean, Clay Holmes, he did get saved twice, though, with Soto with, in right field, throwing out the runner on home, and then Bertie today mm -hmm. making that snag. I mean, Clay Holmes Verdugo. did get – yeah, and Verdugo, of course, making that sliding game ceiling grab. I mean, but you, Clay Holmes didn't look too bad, though. No. You know, there was some there are some scares there, but he held it down. I mean, the fact that we we went four zero. I mean, hats off to everybody in this in this organization. Honestly, I mean, especially with all the stuff that we had to deal with in spring. Like we walked into a a very tough Astros series without a third baseman, right? With DJ Lemayu on the shelf, Oswaldo Cabrera is our third baseman. Basically, what happened last season. With us not having a left field, same thing happened this season without third base. Mm -hmm. But we we persevered. We we got it done, man. And hats off to everybody. Like, yep. Even even with Judge struggling, like basically Soto and Oswaldo were holding down the offense. Like the first three games, they were basically the whole offense, and we still found a way to win the game. Yeah. Last season that didn't happen. Last season, like if two if two hitters, you know, even try to hold it down, we would still lose because either the pitching would give it up or you know the that didn't happen this series. Yeah. Yeah. I throw in Volpe in there as well. You gotta with all the walks that he drew. Yeah, this Volpe, series, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And he's batting over four hundred that big that home run yesterday. But his plate discipline looks completely different from last year yeah he looks like a complete different player with all the walks that he drew like how many did he draw this series uh he drew four walks in in three games he didn't play today yeah so yeah that he looks good as well and that's what i'm saying like 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 you said we had a, we had our players that struggle judge for some reason just looks like he's a deer in the headlights versus this astros team i have no yeah. idea what his thing is glaber torres even though he came up with a couple of late hits has struggled in the in the previous three games, you know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. Hopefully he can get it going. But the middle of the order, you know what I'm saying, staying outside of the the home run and the, and the trickled ball really didn't do anything. Uh, Rizzo came on a little bit later with a couple of hits, but we've really been carried by about uh, three players and yeah. good, and a good bullpen, which is what we've always said the Yankees. Like going in like a couple of shows ago, we were talking about the one thing that we always have faith in is that the Yankees will have a good bullpen because that's what Cashman and them doing. The bullpen shut out a really good team, guys. Yeah. I mean, this this lineup is stacked from top to bottom. Uh, Diaz was their ba their best hitter. Yeah. Easily. But uh, Followed by Altuve. Yeah, Altuve. Of course, Altuve. But Diaz was sitting there um, doing his thing. We got our first call in right here. Round guy in the house. What's up, Round Guy Radio? What up? I'm back, baby. How you doing? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. Hey, I love the service. I love like your I love shirt. Oh, thank you, bro. Thank you. I had to bring in the Easter, you know what I'm saying? The Easter style to it. Yeah, Max is a Hawaiian shirt type guy. I am. On the weekends, <laughs> yes, I am. So what would you think, Round Guy Radio? What were your thoughts on this uh, series sweep? Well, uh, I, I liked it like a farmer likes rain. <laughs> okay. I like that analogy. There you go. Huh? So who was your uh, – who would you say surprised you in this uh, series? There's a little delay here. Yeah, a little bit. Oh. Here. Oh, Glaber Torres. Glaber Torres surprised you? In a good way or a bad way? Uh, I'm, I've been a little on the fence with him because uh, mm -hmm. uh, I, I, I have trouble with his defense sometimes. But uh, I would say in a good way this week because he got a lot of hits when you needed him. Yeah, this series he didn't really get a lot of hits, but I mean, he didn't do like terrible. But I would my my biggest surprise was probably Volpe for me. You know, just get on base and showing us kind of his progression. With him being at bat, like having more confidence with it, I mean, of course, Oswaldo would be the the uh, the easy answer right there because Mister Swagger. There you go. That, but uh, I would say Volpe would be another uh, surprise for me, man. That would be mine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, we knew Soto was going to be big. Soto kills the Astros, you know what I'm saying? But to get the 
to get what we got out of Cabrera and Volpe and the bullpen is really the reason why. And like Max said, Boone as well. Boone yeah. coached his ass off, like for real, for real. He he actually he managed his ass off. So all that contributed to why we ended up sweeping this team. Robertson, Iowa Hawkeyes guy, Iowa NCAA women's basketball. Caitlin Clark yeah. in the house. Caitlin Clark, she's the big name. Okay. So, but yeah, a good series win to start. But you know what? The Yankees have to compile this. We have to continue to play good. We're first place in the AL East now. That doesn't really mean anything. It's still early. But, you know, they look pretty damn good. And the one thing I'm going to say about this, and the guys know it too, you're not too, you're not ever out of a game. Like, we came back three times against – yeah, a, a good team. So, what's your uh, wrong guy? What's your thoughts heading into Arizona? What do you want to see from this team? Just keep going the way you're going. Uh, I love the way I love the way Soto's playing. Oh, <laughs> I knew this guy was gonna be Soto's unreal, man. Like everyone was complaining about, oh, like we gave up a lot for Juan Soto, but this is why, guys. This is why. This guy is just on a different level. Like watching him being at the plate, seeing the pitches, the way he just takes pitches, the way his eye is with the it's unreal. Like and he's came up multiple times now for us, huge. So without Juan Soto, I think we would have lost two games this this uh series. Yeah, especially with with how uh Dr- Judge has been struggling. Yeah, Judge has been I don't know what's wrong with him, but, but, uh, appreciate you for popping in round guy. appreciate you. Um, but yeah, man, like it's just been, it, what a, what a, what a series, what a series to say. The yeah. Least. It felt like a playoff series. Playoff atmosphere was definitely in full effect and the Yankees played well. Yeah. I mean, uh, Louis, we got Luis heel on Monday making his, you know, season debut with the team. I'm going to bring up some some footage and a little bit from, uh, you know, Yes and all that stuff on Twitter. Meredith interviewing uh, Soto, mm. show some plays off and stuff like that that won this game. But if you want to call in, the link is right there in the, in the chat. Call in. Let your voice be heard, man, because uh, it's been a, it's, it's, it's a fun, fun weekend to be a Yankees fan. That's I know right. the Astro fans are like, oh, screw you guys. You guys are sucky. Yeah, I've been messing with them. I've been going on their Instagram and posting gifts of Soto. <laughs> <laughs> but we do appreciate you guys for all popping in here on this Easter Sunday. Hit that like and subscribe to both channels if you guys haven't done so. This is week one of the regular season of Yankees Weekly. Yep. Call in, ladies and gentlemen. Blue Hawk, thanks for popping in, my dude. Blue Hawk. Where you been at, Blue Hawk? What's up, man? I'm surprised yeah. Blue Hawk wasn't at the center of the... The whole thing. Yeah, I know. Coming in here saying we are the New York Yankees. So Yeah. Here, let me uh let me let's bring up the Soto stuff. I gotta make sure the audio is, is good though. Hold on. But Meredith interviewed Soto after the game. Oh crap, hold on. Give me a second here. Let's see what he had to say. Let's talk about the bottom of the inning and some of the defense. What did you think about the play? Birdie made at third and then Verdugo to close things out. I mean, they just they just win the game right there. I mean, great play by Birdie. We all know what he's capable of. I'm really excited for him. And that was a great play back there. I mean, if that ball goes by, who knows? Who knows yep. who, where we're going to mm-hmm. be? He made a great play. And then Doogie in the last out of the game, it was incredible. Well, your at bat had a little bit of something to do with winning this game as well. Josh Hader, not an easy task to mm. face in the ninth inning with the game on the line. How were you able to hang tough during that at bat till you found a pitch you can hit? I mean, just uh, I know since last year, I know what he has. And uh, we all know he's a great pitcher. But I, I just focus on my bat, try to do my job. And at the end of the day, I got him. Does your mindset change at all at the plate when Labor Torres steals second and then third base as far as your approach and what you have to do? I mean, yeah, definitely. I mean, when he got to second base, I just he just make it easier for me. I just got to get a base hit. And then he go to third, and I get the nog. It was the easy walk for him. 
So I think it was uh, it was really important for him to go to second base. These Houston fans have let you hear it a little bit over the last four days. Have you enjoyed that? <laughs> yeah, I love it. I love it. I've been hearing it since 2019, so I think it's, it's pretty cool. It's not a baseball left to be played this season, but a sweep on the road against the Astros to start things off. You think this team has sent a little bit of a message to the league about who you guys are about? <laughs> I don't know if we, we should. A message, but definitely we play hard every day, and we're playing all the 27 outs, and that's what we've been doing this series, and that's what we did. And more than excited to keep going. Juan, I appreciate the time. All right, thank you. Send it back Let's to go, you. Juan. Let's, Let's go. go. Let, me, let me tell you this. Today and what we saw yesterday from the home run, I was going to wait to say this on, on this. For all the Met fans out there that are thinking we're going to get Soto, I don't think he's – I think the Yankees are going to bring him back. Dude, you see the energy he has? Yeah. When he hit that he home can't... run yesterday, when he hit the single today, he's loving it here. He's mm. loving it so far. Like, and it wasn't even it. in New York yet, man. I it's know. not even in New York. Bro, can you imagine if this was – can you imagine if Soto hits a walk-off home run in New York City? No. Bro, he's – if the Yankees even get close to what, what Scott Boris and them are asking, I think he's going to be a Yankee. Why would you want to go to the Mets? Look at them. They just got their, they just got embarrassed in their first series. They got swept. Why would you want to come there when the energy here? And guess what? Aaron Judge hasn't even played well yet. Imagine when Judge gets it going. Yeah. That's what, this is all happening with Stanton kind of struggling. He hit that one home run. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, Judge not being at his a game like this is like you said imagine this team full strength like full momentum going this is just being carried from Oswaldo and juan soto man <laughs> like i know like don't get me wrong there's other guys i stepped up and stuff but i'm talking about like the the main offense has been two players and mm -hmm. we swept the astros yeah and then dominguez is coming back what, what's that energy going to be like for the hispanic community when you got mm. Dominguez, uh, Soto. Salsa dance. Exactly. You're going to do a little and salsa. Then, Woo and then Cabrera. I don't expect Cabrera to keep it up all year round, but he, he did the damn thing this time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, and he's making it. He got a walk today. You know what I'm saying? He's making it hard for him to not be in the lineup every day. He was, you know, slated to play third, but then Volpe was a late scratch due to not feeling well, so we went to short. Um, everybody was concerned that it's it's very good that Cabrera is stepping up because everybody was calling for Birdie to come in game one, and yeah. Cabrera, you know, has at least earned his playing time to start. Oh, he's, he's earned his stripes. Like yeah, he he's earned his stripes. Like this, gonna be hard to take him out. All right, all right. Donnie's in in the house. Donnie, what's going on, my friend? Salute, Salute. fellas. Salute, Max. Salute, what's up, man? How you going, fellas? What's How up, you dude? feeling right now, man? Um. Holmes, man, Holmes. I tell people even before the season, mm. I said Holmes is. Yeah, you know I mean, he's he's iffy, man. You don't know. And if Bert, if Bert didn't see, uh, save that play, who would know what would happen? And Verdugo made a nice sliding catch as well. Yeah, I mean Verdugo. That was nice to see Verdugo finally catching one. I know he's been hustling his ass off. He's been doing his thing, but he couldn't he couldn't glove any of those all series long. Oh, he was hustling, I, yeah, bro. <laughs> When that fly ball went to left field, I was like, just please somehow, some way catch this ball. And he did it. So like it, it all comes full circle. I know that felt good for Alex Verdugo. And uh I I mean Did you see nothing... how pumped he was after that, Max? He like oh out like Hulk Hogan. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And I, I'm sure I could find that. Let me let me try to find the video and I can probably bring it up. But uh I know he, he loved it, man. And good for him, because that was his first real Yankee moment, you know? Yep, because like you were saying, dude, dude dude was diving all over the place. He was getting dirty every game. It just kept hitting off the tip of his glove, and or he misplayed it, you know, in the foul territory. He just couldn't get it. And then to finally come away with the game-winning one definitely speaks dividends. Yeah, here it is. Lined into left field. Here comes Verdugo down, Ooh. and he makes the play, and the Yankees win, and they sweep a season opening four game set yeah. against their arch rival Houston Astros. What a weekend in Texas! I'll tell you what, if this is any indication on the what this season is going to be, sit back, relax, and enjoy it. These have been fun games. Yes, Good they defense. have been. Yes, they Soto have. show. 
I'm I know he's all happy. He's all happy. From the Yankees. <laughs> Clay Holmes, oh, Clay, like, yeah, thank Clay God. Got, yeah. Woo. Got three saves, all based on good defense. <laughs> and, and Clay probably tipped his hat twice, probably like one after the other, like like back to back kind of thing. You know what I mean? Exactly. He, he, yeah, he, he should be buying him dinner because, <laughs> I mean, if that, that didn't get caught, that might have been uh, game over. I mean, and that Mac probably would have scored. So, so, sorry. Sorry. Ace, you can continue. Sorry. No, you're good. No, go ahead. Only reason I put up the one is because if everybody watched wrestling, I know how many wrestle fans oh. we have out there. I just put it the one, just you know what I mean. For Roman, for Roman respect, Reigns, the, respect, the tribal respect. chief. Eight one says day one, right? <laughs> yep. Um, before we let you go, Donnie, let me get your thoughts. Uh, because we got other callers coming in. Before we get your thought, what's your thoughts? I should say on the Arizona, like Arizona series coming up tomorrow. What are your thoughts going into there? I would love to play Monty, man. I, I know he's got to be a month out, but, man, I would have loved to play Monty. Yeah, I mean, that that does suck, but we already gave it to Josh Hader. Might as well give it to Montgomery as well. Mm-hmm. Thanks, Donnie, for calling in, man. Appreciate Thanks, you, brother. Have a good day. Yes, sir. So what's next? Got to give it to Snell next, and then all of a sudden just give it to everybody that all the Yankee fans wanted us to sign? <sighs> yeah. Might as well, Matt Chapman, all them guys, bro. Yep. Even Matt Chapman's been balling. But uh, mm-hmm. I mean, right now it seems like the Yankees did the right decision. Like a, a lot of the people, a lot of the Yankee fans out there, I know they haven't really spoke up yet, but they all have said, "Oh, why, 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 why won't we sign Monty? Why won't we sign Snell? The season's over. Cole went down. We, I don't trust this team. I don't trust this this uh rotation." And then we go out there and sweep the Astros. Yep. Let's talk about that rotation, by the way. Nestor Cortez, game one, Mm. rocky start, settled down, had more good innings than bad, had three good innings, two bad innings. Okay. Um, Rodon, even though he, you know, had a high pitch count, still one run, held it down. Marcus Stroman, shut him down. No no ERA for him yesterday. And Clark Schmidt, even though he battled, he had the one bad inning, but, you know, the one thing I would say I would want out of Clark Schmidt, like we talk about all the time, we talk about it all the time, dude. He's had He has to go more than the third time through the order. But his stuff isn't that good to get through the third time. No. So, the f- you know what I'm saying? That's, that's what's frustrating, Ace, because um, he looks so good. Like, Clark mm-hmm. Schmidt looked really good today. Early on, He was yeah. impressing me with, like, the movements of his pitches. You know, he had five strikeouts and, what, through four innings, five innings? Mm-hmm. He looked great, man, and then he just has not shown this team he can go deeper into games. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like that's his only problem, and that's what that's what sucks, man. We got a Kenneth in the house. What's up, Kenneth? Hey, how's it going, fellas? What up, Kenny? Nice, nice headphones. Hey, sir. Hey, what? Oh, Jesus, you loud, man. How's your uh? How you feeling right now? Right now, okay. going into Arizona. How you feeling right now? Well, I tell you what, we line up against their number five starter and their one starter and two. Gallon and uh, Merrill Kelly are no joke. Yeah. Kelly, Kelly kicked the crap out of the Rockies uh, game two of their series. And Gallon, he didn't pitch all that great, but he had a 45-minute break from the last inning he pitched until he got up and started throwing again. That was the game that the Diamondbacks scored 14 runs in an inning. Mm. But yeah, I don't maybe. suspect that. I don't suspect that that's going to be the same occurrence uh, against us. Yeah, let me check right now to see if they have a projected starter for tomorrow. They have a good uh, team over there. They, they do. Similar. They're a good young team. It, so should, it think- should be Nelson. Yeah, Nelson is their star. I I don't honestly I've never heard of Nelson for the Diamondbacks. Yeah, we're gonna last, get five five one and two. So last, last year Nelson uh was a decent pitcher. They didn't let him they didn't let him uh start in the postseason. They rang him out to the bullpen. And he was good for an inning or two, but past that, everyone had his number. And something that I've noticed in spring training when I was watching the Diamondbacks is he doesn't have a true strikeout pitch. Mm. People people foul a lot of balls off of him and his pitch count goes through the, through the ceiling. So I don't suspect that you're going to uh, 
see him long in the game, I, I would be best pass for him. Yeah. We got Heel versus Nelson. Uh, so Diamondbacks sitting at two and one right now. It's gonna be interesting to see how this team does, man. Like, like uh, some Astro fans have been saying in the chat, like their pitching staff has been hurt. The rail. I mean, you saw it. they had four starting pitchers on the IL. So I mean, that could have had something to deal with. But the thing is, like, hold on. But the thing is, we were destroying the bullpen. It wasn't That's even what the I'm starters. Saying. Yeah, yeah. And we didn't even have a gear. I don't want to hear that. We didn't have gear. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> well, um, I, I, I'll tell I'll tell you the thing that scares me about the Dime, the Yankees going to play the Diamondbacks is those guys don't hit bombs. They they will run you to death. Yeah. Uh, if if they got the slightest opening, a single turns into a double without a doubt. Corbin Carroll, that dude steals at will. Alec Thomas steals at will. Uh, I saw some rookie that they had. Uh, that, uh, Alexander, I think was his name. He hit a lazy ground ball to shortstop and beat the throw out. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. I saw Jackson Holiday do that in spring. And I was like, yeah. what the hell? Yeah, small ball is the way to go. You know what I'm saying? Going from first to third, you know what I'm saying? Whatever you can, that's that's baseball for you. You can't always get the home run. You know what I'm saying? So you have to manufacture runs. But I'm going to tell you this. With the way how we played this weekend and how we were down, even if we're trailing, we're never out. And that's well, what I'm saying. I, I, these, I, it's just so many competitive at-bats that these Yankees are having. I, mm. I, will, I will tell you, if the Yankees starters do what they did in the Astros series, keep us close our bats are going to come alive we're not going to be out of any game this year yep no nope. the, only, the only thing i would say is we have to we have to stay away from the double plays because realistically we hit to a lot of double plays this series we should have smacked the astros like last year we didn't strike out last year our strikeouts were our problems in this series too many double plays that kill momentum and if you convert on half of those left on base and and stuff like that, you you put up a lot of uh, high scoring runs. High scoring yeah, well, innings. In, in game one, we had two double plays with bases loaded, one out. Yep. Yeah, and we, didn't, and we didn't draw a run out of any one of those. I was going nuts during that game. Oh yeah, you already know, like we all were going nuts in the chat. Like I was like, bro, this is like the same old, same old. Like last season, this would happen, and um. They persevered, man. When when they was at the end of the game, the comeback kids, we did it. Like that just shows you this team can beat anybody. Like Kenneth said, this team can beat anybody at any time. Kenneth, before we let you go, give us your player of the series. Player of the series, it's it's probably got to be uh, uh, Cabrera. Yeah, I mean, I mean that guy was. The last nine games of spring training, he was getting hot. So I figured he'd be okay in the regular season, and he is taking it to the next level. Maybe he was scared that uh, Birdie was going to take his job away, so the competi healthy competition did something for him. But he played yeah. fantastic. No, no, he he shut everybody up, man. I mean, I, I, me, I call him Mr. Swagger. Alice over here saying, hey, he lost his swagger. In spring training, his swagger was, uh, it was gone. But he, did, he found it. Did you happen to catch any of the uh, interviews with Cabrera and Meredith Marakovic through the three games, first three games? Yeah, I saw them. I, I didn't, but I'm he, I'm I'm going to pull some he, up here in a little bit. Well, he mainly attributed his success to uh, working with Juan Soto, looking at Soto's work ethic, and tried to adapt uh, things that Soto did by flattening the swing out as opposed to get the elevation trying to shoot home runs and yeah he's, he's trying to be a base a, ba a line drive hitter like yeah, he's supposed to yeah because he's a line drive type of hitter and he's changed up his stance a little bit with not so high of a leg kick so that helps out with timing and everything and yeah like the yankees problem is the yankees problems last couple of years is you know uh swing elevation that's where you want to do you know what i'm saying like but it's just like hit line drives keep the line yeah. moving we really didn't hit that many home runs in this series we really didn't no, we oh. didn't. I mean, we didn't hit one today. You no. know what I'm saying? Like the fact that we still won today without a home run and they had a home run. Like that just, that just shows you right there like how
different yeah. this team is. You know what the sweetest thing about today's victory was? What is it? Is that you saw that that uh, Hater was not invincible. Yeah. Trevino, Trevino took that shot off his leg. Torres got a hit off of him. Soto got a hit off of him. And I mean, the first two games that he showed up, he pretty much struck everybody out that he saw. Yeah, five yeah. out of six struck. Out. Oh yeah. Yep. Yeah, so, he went off. Everybody was fearing him being signed by the Astros. Well, guess what? He can be beaten too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah but the thing about it is, like, I, I had actually said that a little bit in the uh, in the stream, like the way that we won. We won in all different ways. This wasn't just coming back. This one was actually beating Hater. So that's demoralizing for that team going forward. You know what I'm saying? So knowing that we're not out of it and we just took out your best clo- your best uh, reliever. So Yeah. The Yankee Bats decimated their bullpen. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So But uh man. appreciate you for popping in Kenneth, man. Thank you, man. We'll always appreciate Thank you, the call as always. You the man. Network. I'm going to bring up some uh some stuff from Yes Network. They're interviewing Aaron Boone. Manager Aaron Boone describes his emotions in the dugout as the game went on and the exciting ninth inning, both offensively and defensively, to secure the win. Mm-hmm. Hold on. There it is. Give me a second here. In the dugout, unbelievable. In some unbelievable defensive plays there in the bottom of the ninth, some favorable bounces. Can you take me through the roller coaster of emotions you were feeling in the dugout as that was all transpiring? Yeah, I mean, just a lot of fun watching these guys continue to kind of compete, and it's happening on both sides of the ball. What great play by Birdie. Um, you know, I don't, it wasn't hit all that hard, but kind of seemed like it was placed perfectly to my eye off the bat and then I see birdie out of nowhere pull it off and have the wherewithal to get to third um and then a great read by by doogie there you know that little looper that you know tucker can he's, he's just good at hanging in there and dumping that ball out there and doogie got a great read on it and uh I'm blocked out by the um by the foul line on the on the foul ball by alvarez so I just watched the hitter and and he kind of tells you so um yeah uh wild ninth um but this guy's just having fun playing the game right now like look at that stat right there ace right there on the bottom yankees 13 of 21 runs this season in the seventh inning or later that just shows you clutch hour clutch time how clutch this team is man yep never out of it you know what i'm saying like this could have easily like last year's yankees I, I truly believe probably get swept last year's Yankees because losing the way we lost, not being able to come back, our best – one of our best players – our best player last year, Aaron Judge, didn't hit this series. Barely mm-hmm. hit. Two hits. But, you know what I'm saying, last year's Yankees probably lose this series. This year's Yankees showed a lot of grit, a lot of heart, the emotion, the energy was there. You saw the emotion from Rodon, from Strowman, from, uh, from Verdugo, Cabrera – uh, yeah. Soto, everybody. I love it. Yeah, every everybody made their mark on this game. Yep. Um, I'm 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 gonna bring up the John Bertie save right now. This is basically what saved the game for us right here. John Bertie on third. One two, ground ball. Oh, a diving stop by Bertie. He gets one. That's all he'll get. He might have saved the game right there. Birdie with a beautiful play gets yep. the force at third. That was Dude, nasty, wow, man. Yep. That goes down the left field line. Michael, that's a, that's that's, line. that's game over. That's over. Gold, yeah, that's what two runs. Yeah. Especially you got to consider Verdugo's left handed, so mm. it would take him. He'd have to turn around. Hard. And get him. Great play. Get the sure out. Don't waste a throw. Blake heading to the mound. Hold on. Let me let me pause it on this this face right here. Tweet tweet, motherfuckers. John Bertie walking in there. His first game as a New York Yankee. Already putting a statement down and saving, not only putting a run on the board, but saving two runs and saving the game. Mm-hmm. Look at this face, everybody. Donnie asked, would DJ have made that play? Possible. I've seen, I've seen DJ make that play, so I'm not going to sit there and say that DJ can't do it. I've, I I've seen him. 
I think it's possible DJ probably would have made the play and maybe tried to look for the double play. Maybe maybe get the force at second or go to first. I don't know if he would have been able to, to make that play and get up and go to go to third. I don't know. Mm-hmm. I, He's older. But, but that seen. that's why I thought like opening day, I thought maybe John Bertie would be the opening day third baseman because he mm-hmm. knows how to play the position. Like you you, I, all the Yankee fans know that Oswaldo Cabrera <laughs> He doesn't have a true like. What is his best position at this point? We don't so know, do mm-hmm. but we don't know because he's been bounced around. Exactly right. So like, opening day happens. We're like, dude, we're sitting here. We might not even have a legit opening day third baseman, but now we do with John Bertie. But then Cabrera goes out there and just balls out with his bat, you know, and does his thing. Yep. So you cannot bench the guy. You know, Volpe with the upset stomach gave Bertie an opportunity to show his face and show what he has. And I mean, credits to him, you know, being ready, ready to go and saving the game for us. Exactly. Uh, 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 stat I didn't know about Bertie led the league in stolen bases in 2022. Yeah, that's, that's I, 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 I texted you that. Did you? I texted. Yeah, I said he has 41 stolen bases in 2022. He's fast because I know this because I played uh, mm-hmm. I played DraftKings. Okay. And you know, stolen bases are five points on DraftKings. So I go. was like, John Bertie always gave me those. But yeah, man, he's he he's nice, man. He's older, like you said, he's thirty four. But hey, we're not. He's not here to give us home runs. He's here to get on base, nope. like he did, and uh, give us a chance to win. And he, yeah, nice little uh, at bat too, RBI for him too. So, hey Wallace, I want Wallace to call in. Let's get. Can we get Wallace to call in right here? Wallace said one hundred fifty eight more games to go. Yep. Trust me, that's going to be gone before you know. Wallace, you're my brother from another mother, but I want you to pop on here and let us know how you're feeling right now as an Astros fan. Yeah, he's an an Astro fan. I just want to see how he's feeling right now. That's all. That's all I want. Let's go to Instagram and see the Astros' uh, Instagram, see how they're feeling. Uh, I don't want to know, but I'm I'm going to find uh, the, the picture I sent to you. Of Jose Altuve. <laughs> Astro Remember. Center, a fan page, said Houston Astros eliminated. <laughs> wow. See, they're going to give up already? Come on we now. Don't, we don't give up over here. You know why? Tell them, Max. We don't quit on our... Stop quitting on your team! I don't have this sound bit for the uh, stream yard. Mm-hmm. That's why. Hold on. Let me find this. I sent it to you. You know what picture I'm going to bring up here. But this is from uh, game two for the Astros. All the Astro fans in the chat right now. That's it. You got you to <laughs> put that on a, on a thumbnail. Yeah, that's what happened. That, that's all the Astros fans right there in the chat right now. Um, Pretty much. Just a little uh, scare right there. Pretty a little much. scare to be 0 and 4. Mm. Right? Yep. But it was a. Let me tell you, Soto is as good as advertised, dude. Like. Oh, yeah. Dude, think about it. He gets off the slow starts. So he's pretty hot right now. He's loving being in the Yankee uniform. Fits him perfectly. And just imagine how it's going to be this Friday for the home opener. Mm. That crowd Cannot is going to be. That crowd is going to be ruckus. <laughs> Wallace, oh come on, Max. <laughs> I had to, man. You would do it for me. I know you. Um. Also, I sent this to uh, Ace earlier today. I wanted to... the 2024 Alls Waldo Cabrera right here, guys. Hold on. If you know who this is, you know what I'm. You know what I'm getting at right here. Hold on. Let's see, uh, right there. <laughs> yeah, he's together, crowding the play. Yeah, come on. The There's a hole in the right field. Forget about it. This one is headed for New Jersey. High into the upper deck. <laughs> Barry Bonds with a spectacular three run homer. And he has electrified Yankee Stadium. Imagine being that person, though, bro. Imagine Wait, being that guy. Mm-hmm. And listen to the Yankee Stadium crowd as Bonds rounds the bases. 
That's all Waldo right there, man. Call, call in Wallace. We want to hear from you. Yeah, call in. No, he said no. Enjoy the four. No, come on. <laughs> come on, Wallace. Don't be like that. Oh, man, what a win. I mean, it's been a fun series. Uh, way better than what we thought. This is what Strowman did. Um, let me uh, zoom out real quick. It's kind of what Strowman did his first official game as a New York Yankee. He back he backed up all his uh, all his talk. Yeah, six innings, four hits. He's pitched over a hundred pitches. The defense didn't do him no help that game, but he stuck no. with it though. And he still got the win. Yep. No ER, no arm runs. Three uh three of those runs that weren't on weren't for him. Yeah. So not Shout a lot to of games, which he's not a he's not a strikeout pitcher. He's it's not what he's he gonna, is, yeah. Yeah. He's a he's a ground ball pitcher, which is which is gonna keep the guys, you know, in the game. You know, it's gonna keep their heads in the game because you know at any pitch it could come right at you. Yep. And I, that's what I was saying during my stream. I was like, he's not gonna strike out everybody, right? He's nope. gonna get those weak ground balls. That's what he did. Yeah, I'd be surprised if he had a game that was like eight, nine strikeouts, because that's not what he does. He's a yeah. ground ball type guy, he's a contact ground ball guy. Which will go good in Yankee Stadium. So, yeah. Next time we'll see him will be Friday, one o'clock, baby. Home Ooh. opener. Oh, you know. Wait, one o'clock? No. Friday, one o'clock. Why are they? Why are they having a one o'clock game on Friday? The home openers are usually around that time. Are you kidding me? No, you got to be kidding me here. One o five. No, hold on. Max is like, say it ain't so. Say it's not true. Oh, you got to be kidding me! Everyone's at work. <laughs> everybody's work why would they do that why would they do that for new york so people could call out of work you might have to call out max oh that's ridiculous that's why the that's why the mlb is so bad in ratings for that for that reason no i'm serious the nfl yeah. would not do that no on a friday at one o'clock they wonder why the ratings are low they want they wonder why they can't grow you've got to be kidding me man yeah, I'm pissed off. <laughs> thanks, thanks, Ace. Hey, we have a good series. We had a good series sweep of the uh, the uh, Strohs, bro. Now they now they want me to stay up late and call these games, and then I can't even call the freaking home opener. Oh, this week, yeah, this week is gonna be. We got two night games in a row, the nine forty games. So, West Coast time, ladies and gentlemen, the Yankees versus the Astros tomorrow, nine forty start time. It's ridiculous, man. It's ridiculous. That's why MLB is lacking right there. <sighs> last call-ins right here. Let's get the last call-ins. There's a link right there. Who wants to let their voices be known? That's right. right? Celebrate this first series sweep by the New York Yankees. And then we all have to enjoy our Easter dinner. That's right. I'm going I'm to be I'm happy. Yeah, I'm about to grub too. Um, but you, what, you, you grub it on chicken containers. Uh, well, I, I saw your I saw your post. I know. I'm like, no, bro, what? You go no, to a restaurant, some... order chicken tenders? <laughs> no, you can't. No. You can't be serious. We got some good Spanish food going to my mom's house. We got some, some lumpia, Spanish huh? Food. No, that's Filipino some... food. Oh shit! Well, lumpia is nice. <laughs> what about uh, what what's it called? Um, Caminadas. planton. Uh, oh, platanos. Platanos. Okay. There you go. Yeah. Give me some. Not sure if my computer will work. Waiting for my new PC in two weeks. Says Uncle Rico. Uncle, I don't, that's. I want Uncle Rico to call in because he knows his stuff. Mm. Uh, Rico, the other guy, has been MIA for a while. Uh, he was in the chat last year and over the uh, offseason. I hope he's okay. I hope he's not like arrested or anything like that. But he hasn't been uh, in the chat. <laughs> but um, <laughs> La Jugger not says Yankees versus Diamondbacks tomorrow. Yep, it's going to be a fun series. Another yep. fun series on our hands. Ace, before we go... Uh, what are your what's your thoughts on the series coming up? Like, what are you looking for? Um, starts off with Luis Hill. I'm looking for a continuation of what we saw from him from spring, a hard thrower. Um, his first start of the year. You know what I'm saying? Hoping it goes well for him. Hopefully we get him some run support as well. Then I'm looking for a stronger start from Nesta Cortez mm. um game two. You know what I'm saying? Not saying he pitched bad. But then now that and then also now that Judge is out of Houston and he's got that, 
you know, bad juju off of him. I'm hoping uh, for a better series from him because if we can get the combination of Soto and Judge going, this lineup might really be dangerous. Yeah. And then obviously a big question mark with Rodon as well that Wednesday before the day off. Rodon pitching as well. Can he compile back-to-back good starts and, and you know what I'm saying, get guys out without a high pitch count to maybe go a little bit deeper as well? Um, that's what I'm looking for this series and continuation of, you know, Volpe, Volpe's development as well. You got to realize still, he's still only in year two, you know what I'm saying? This is year two. So he's got a lot of learning Soto to stay hot as well. Um, Austin Wells to get more time. And, uh, that's what I'm looking for, but what are you looking for in this next series? I'm looking forward to, uh, hopefully just, you know, waking up a little bit. And, uh, like you said, Luis heel. Cortez, those guys got to go out there and do their job, keep the momentum high. Cortez looking for a bounce back outing, even though he settled down after two innings in Houston. But I want him to go out there, maybe give us six innings, two earned runs. I'll take that, right? Mm-hmm. And then I'm I'm also interested in seeing Oswaldo keeping that hot streak going. If he can keep this going, man, we might have a little uh, a third baseman uh, battle Contra, going man. on. Yeah. yeah, but you know as soon as LeMahieu gets back, that job's going to be his. Yeah. The, but, the one uh, thing I do want to see, though, if Glaber continues to struggle, I want to see Volpe at the top of the order because Glaber can't keep giving away these at-bats. He had four pop-ups today. Like, one of them fell for a hit. But yeah. when Glaber, I say it all the time, Glaber's at his worst when he's trying to pull the ball. And he just pops everything up. Oh! Wallace with the 10 gifted memberships. Blue Hawk, G26, Michael, Nick, Blue Thunder, Herb, Richard Jackson, Sarah Small, Tyler, Christine. Welcome to the freaking squad. My brother from another mother. Wallace. Hey, hey the victory is again keep coming from Wallace. And he side. just pops confetti all over the freaking place. Got to respect it. Wallace team took an L, but he's a good sport. Good job, Wallace. Wallace is the goat, man. Shout out he's, to you, Mr. Wallace. Wallace, you're on, you already know you're on the uh the Mount Rushmore of Max Covers TV. Mm. You are the man. You are the man. Before we go, we got one more caller backstage. Mr. Ooh. Tyler is in hey, the house. What's up, yeah. Tyler? What's going on, guys? Tyler, want... We missed you, man. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. I know. I know. I haven't been on in a little bit, but I mean, what Tyler forgot about talk... me? Huh? You forgot about us? That's all. Say say how it is, man. <laughs> okay, I, I I didn't forget. I didn't forget. Okay, I didn't forget. You don't love us but... no more, Max. Yeah, right. <laughs> Yeah, but I mean, it's a great way, great way to start the season. Watch every single game. Obviously, Cabrera, he's been absolutely crushing the ball so far to start the season. And as far as our pitching staff goes, I mean, you know, in the ninth inning, it's always cardiac clay coming in and mm. gives us a heart attack every time he comes in to the game. <laughs> he does, man. But I, I mean, with the starting pitchers, I mean. They, they've done well as far as like keeping us in the games because obviously we've gone down in almost every game to start so they're keeping the run limit at a minimum for our offense to get get back in the game so Rodon obviously he, he got he got himself in some jams but when he needed to execute those pitches when he needed him the most then he, he got the strikeouts and the defense that he needed. Yeah, man, and I, I was, I was hoping you called in because you same, you're usually the guy man. that's like, oh, this team sucks, but like, uh, no, but I know you're happy. I'm happy, and Rodon, yeah, like you said, man, he need, if Rodon can come out and if he gives us seven innings, I think he's pitching what Wednesday, Wednesday, yeah, yeah, Wednesday against Arizona. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm saying. So he should, they should be able to extend them, but it's just about pitch count. You know what I'm saying? Like the Astros worked them because did he didn't he have like, uh, what was it? He he had like almost 90 in through five, right? Or 80, something like that. He had 80, um, 80 through five, 85. Yeah so, yeah. so, yeah, I mean, could he have gone? Yeah. 
but being that he's a, it's an off day right after, let him let him go. If he's if you know, especially if we have a little bit of a lead, let him go a little bit further. Stretch him out. Yeah. Um but yeah, overall, I mean, I, I I like the way the bullpen has pitched so far this season as well. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm ch- I'm trying to stay positive like right now, but I I, I do I want to see Aaron Judge get it going. Like I I, yes. I know it's only yeah. four games. I know it's yeah. four games, but you know, and I, I'm still confident that he'll get out of it and he'll go on a hot streak. We we need to see him and Soto on a hot streak at the same time. Oh. It's going to be absolutely dangerous. Yep. Um. But yeah, and then one question for you guys: What do you, th- what have you thought of Glaber at the leadoff spot? Because for me, I said I wanted to give Verdugo a shot at the leadoff spot. To be honest, so what do you think? Do you think they keep Glaber at leadoff for the Arizona series, or do you think they go a different direction? I think personally, they uh, they will go a different direction because Glaber he hit what below one hundred in Houston. Now is that it saved him though? Is that thumb the issue? I don't know. But maybe they maybe they do, but maybe they don't because hey, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, right? Mm-hmm. We're we're four and oh. So maybe they go with hey re- regardless it's working. So yeah. I would say I don't know if Verdugo would be the guy to be the leadoff man. I know, I know. I was like, maybe Volpe couldn't be it, but like, dude, he got on base a lot in Houston, yep. so you know his speed is something. John Bertie, also another guy that can they can potentially look at, is only his first game, but he has speed, and that's what you need for a leadoff man is speed. And John Bertie, he hit two ninety four last season with Miami in one hundred and thirty three games. It wasn't a small sample size. It was you know, a full season basically. Yeah. So Bertie can get on base and have that speed. He, you know, he, he can steal some bases, maybe look at him. But then again, that means somebody has to sit either Cabrera or Volpe or Torres. So, yeah. Um, I've always personally liked Glaber more as protection for like a Rizzo. You know what I'm saying? I think, Anthony Volpe, if he continues to play the way he's doing, is destined for that leadoff spot because that leadoff spot needs to be not just somebody that has speed, but also a table setter. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like someone who takes pitches, someone that can get the pitcher's pitch count up to like eight, nine, get on base. And then you have Soto who can get the pitcher's count up as well. Then you might have Aaron Judge coming up with Volpe and Soto on, and the pitcher's already close to like 24, 25 pitches. You know what I'm saying? The next thing you know, Judge gets hot, brings him in, three nothing ball game. You start getting into those bullpens really, really early. But you know, it just depends on Volpe's two strike approach if he can continue that. Um, in my opinion, and I think like, yeah, it's you know, that that's who I ultimately think is my dream scenario is Volpe in a leadoff spot. But I'm not opposed to Verdugo. The only thing I'm opposed to is the lefty lefty. But both of those guys can both hit off lefty pitchers, but you mm-hmm. just don't normally see the lefty lefties on the top of the order. Yeah. What do you? Yeah. What, do, what, what about you, Tyler? What do you think? Yeah, I mean, like A said, like obviously, obviously, I wouldn't want Verdugo leading off if there's a lefty pitcher starting. I wouldn't want that. But mm-hmm. I, I, th- I think they're going to experiment with some different leadoff hitters. I think we could see Volpe up there, Birdie up there. I think Verdugo gets a shot. So. I don't think I don't think they're gonna like put like Volpe at lead off and like if he doesn't perform well I don't think they'll like keep him there I think they might try out some different try out some different lineups and ca- kind of see see what works but other than that though um, I've been liking everything I see so hopefully we can get some series wins this week with Arizona and I think Toronto at, at the end of the yep. week I yep. think. Toronto yep so yeah ho- hopefully we hopefully we got some wins in those series but. Yeah, other than that, it's all good. Who's your Who's your player of the week, Tyler? A uh, player of the series, I should say. You know, I, I have a feeling we're gonna say Soto quite a bit, but I have to say Cabrera. I, mm. I have to. Yeah, you have to. I mean, yeah, this guy like no one thought this guy was gonna do what, what he did. Yeah, I'm gonna go with what Max said. I'm gonna give a kudos to Boone. Boone down yeah. all the right the right buttons he pressed all the right buttons in the series and max knows anybody that follows my channel knows i am quick to shit on boone but mm-hmm. 
He did the damn. A lot of people are. Yeah, you got to give credit where credit is due. I had a couple people asking me in the stream today, you still think they should fire Boone? I'm like, eh, uh, we'll see. But he can keep his job right now. But yeah. he played well. Every move that he made, especially with the bullpen, he did well. So that's that's a good point that Max had made earlier. Yeah. I mean, Boone, he has a lot of uh, hate towards him. So shout out to him. Uh, before we leave, let's get some quotes from Clark Schmidt. It's from Chris Kirshner. He uh, covers the Yankees for the Athletic. It's very early, uh, early, similar to how we were in 2022 early. when mm -hmm. early to how we were in 2022 when we started off on that really good start. We just felt like we weren't going to lose at the end of the games. We felt like we were going, gonna, we're always going to come back. There's an energy and excitement in this clubhouse. So, yeah. Okay. Hey. Tyler's gone. Yeah, he, he oh he, thanks for popping on Tyler. Yeah, we thanks, Tyler. Appreciate him, you, man. <laughs> Bye, Tyler. And then uh Clark Schmidt on sweeping the Astros. It just it's just kind of like letting them know and letting everybody know that we're here. We're excited mm -hmm. about this year. We're ready to get going, and this is just a start for us. Let's go. Yep. You know why? Because we are, we are. The mother trucking Yankees, we are, we are. <laughs> the mother trucking Yankees. Yep. Appreciate everybody in the house, man. It's been a fun show, like always. Ace, appreciate you. Appreciate Happy you. Easter to everybody in the chat, man. Thank you for everyone who has called in. Thank you for everyone who has tuned in. And everyone who has helped donate, like my guy, Wallace. Y'all are the best, man. Ace, last words before we start the next week for the New York Yankees. What a series when it was for our New York Yankees. You can't help but be excited from what you saw, but it has to continue on this next series because we can go on a losing streak and the next week we might be like, yo, maybe it was just, you know, fool's gold, but they have to continue it. I like what I see so far from the New York Yankees and I can't wait to, for this full season and you can catch it on the Ace Avenue and Max coverage Hit those likes and subscribes to both channels and check out the merchandise store. Max and myself just dropped a bunch of new merch. Yes, sir. We'll definitely do and that. Bob, and hold on. Are you not subscribed? This, he said, <laughs> you're, hopefully you're back in my algorithm. Mm. Hit that subscribe button, Bob. That's right. Let's go. Yep. And my giveaway will be tomorrow. Max, when is yours? Tomorrow as well. Uh, tomorrow as well. 6 p.m. before the... Uh, you know, the craziness happens at 9.40 p.m. Eastern time. Yep. Like, I'm up all night long. Uh, Max is going to need some bro. coffee tomorrow, so make sure you guys... You I know, got a Celsius. Come in and keep that energy up for Max. He's going to be sleepy. So Yeah, right. So keep but, me uh, up, please. But appreciate each and every one of you. Happy Easter, guys. Have a happy Easter and enjoy this time with your family. God bless you all. It's always love, peace, chicken grease on Max Coverage TV and on the Ace Avenue. Appreciate everybody. Go Yankees. 4-0 to start the season. First time since 03. And we aren't stopping. We're going to Arizona. Diamondbacks are next. Like Goldberg, Goldberg says. And we're out of here. We're both going to be streaming tomorrow. See you all then. Peace. <laughs>